you look at the current prime, you're looking to get your CDL. If my videos played a part in you deciding to come to Prime, put me down as a referral. Driver code Maturo, M-A-T-U-R-O. Also, don't forget to put down Nikki Yost as well. Hey, I'm a recruiter here at Prime. I'd love to work with you. Uh, list me on the application as the recruiter that you talk to, along with Junior's referral. We make a great team. We'll take care of you. My direct phone number is 417-521-3598. Which is the best, guys? Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Junior here again with another video. This video, I'm gonna show you how to check your oil and the coolant levels on your APU. This is something that you wanna be doing at least once a week. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're doing your uh, pre-trip already on a, on a daily basis. So you wanna check your APU as well. You don't wanna check your APU uh, uh, fluid levels while it's been running. Obviously, you wanna let it sit for a few hours and then check those um, levels preferably after your drive let's say during your 30 minute break boom get out check it and i'll show you where to check those at as well but the reason for that is if the um apu is leaking or something's going on you'll be able to pinpoint it and check it out uh get to it and get it fixed promptly so you don't know you don't if you don't check it you don't know but if you check it and you know hey this is not supposed to be looking wet meaning there's an oil leak or something leaking then you're going to be able to fix it um, in a timely manner so let me show you where do you check those um levels and whatnot all right guys all right so again the apu's got to be off for a few hours or a good 30 minutes so pop these open there's two of those Prop it open. The oil dipstick is here. You want to pull that out, check it, just like you would on a truck. And this is where you would put the engine, uh, the oil in. All right, guys, you want to get a funnel and do it. And this is where the main power to the APU is. If you ever need to turn it off or anything to get some work done on it, that's where you would do it. All right. Um, the oil that it uses is the same as the one for the truck so there's not any special oil on it same oil that you will use on the truck all right guys and this is where you check the coolant levels so it's pretty simple you check that and you're good if you need to add some that you do but same thing just like you would on a regular car um, if you need to add some do so and it uses the same coolant as the one for the truck as well same coolant as the truck same oil as the truck all right guys so it's pretty simple um, and I always give it a look to see if there's anything leaking underneath and whatnot anytime you stop for long periods check to see there's nothing leaking underneath and it would be an indicator that hey something's leaking on the APU all right guys Something else you want to look at is you want to make sure that there's a filter underneath the, the bunk, your bed. You want to change that often. Um, it's to each driver's discretion. There's not a set time when you have to change it. Um, the, the PM on the APU is every 2,000 hours. So keep that in mind. When they do the PM, they change the air filter as well. Um, so let me show you that. Uh, filter that's underneath the bunk that you need to change from time to time you just got to keep an eye on it okay all right
right? So this is underneath the bunk. This is the uh, where I was talking about the filter. And this is mine. As you guys can see, I will be replacing mine. But I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like and stuff. So in order to take it off, you remove these clips right here. One on each side. I mean, two on each side. Take it off. Take the filter out. Boom. Replace it. And then uh, you're good to go. You want to keep an eye on this filter. You don't want to let that filter build up because it's going to start overheating the APU as well. All right, so as you can see, that's the oil dipstick. And that's the mark right here. All right, guys, you don't want it to go more than that. So after you pull it out, clean it, put it back in to get an accurate oil reading, guys. And this is it right here. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to clean it, put it, dip it back into the APU, and pull it back out. All right, so this is what it looks like. Boom, we're good. Good levels. And once you clean it, you put it back in, and you're good to go, guys. If you need to add some more, you do that. Just make sure you got a funnel, guys. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris Carter.